Hi, today we'll be talking about one of the very fascinating tricks about conditional formatting which is surely going to impress your boss if you do use this. And let me take my bets, people are going to ask you how did you do that? So let's see what are we dealing with. In one of the case studies exercise sheet, let me show you a sample, let me click on this plus button. Now I have a column which says Jan to June month production wise, budgeted production and actual production. Now on occasions where the actual production exceeds budgeted production, there's still demand in the market and it's good for the business. So the status shows a green inverted triangle. If it is matching with the budgeted production, it is neutral average. And if it is less than the budgeted production, then it shows a red triangle inverted. So let's see how do we achieve this. In fact, in case you happen to change the values, automatically the status changes. Let's say in this case I put 90. Yeah, there you go. So let me first tell you what are the components that have been used. First, let me ask you to go to reference sheet and therein lies the concept. Let me tell you that the three letters, in fact the four letters PQ and TU combined are equivalent to these signs if you convert them to the font Wingdings 3. What are those? If you happen to write PQ TU in lowercase and change the font to Wingdings 3. Let me see what you get on your screen. Wingdings 3, there you go. It's a symbol based font. Now this font is the proxy for those same letters PQ, TU. So I would want first in my exercise sheet that somehow I get PQ, TU based on the status. Status, whether actual exceeds budget or vice versa or both are equal. Once they are there, I will be able to apply conditional formatting based on the fact that if it is letter P indicates up, good, then it should be green. Letter Q, which is down, it should be in red color and TU, it should be in yellow or orange. So first let me write a formula which says if, if the actual exceeds budget, it's good for the business, which means I would want a letter P, small case, not uppercase, small case. If it is not so, please ask again if the actual cell, actual production. Now I'm not able to choose this particular cell because it's behind the formula. So what I do, I choose the cell above it and I press down arrow key. So there you go. I've been able to select the actual production value. If that is equal to budgeted production, then I would want TU that too in double quotation and finally if it is neither P or TU I will only have one thing to say it must be under the Q which means decline I close double brackets and there you go I have letter P copy pasted TU which indicates same level and Q which indicates which is bad for the business now I go to the font and change this to Wingdings 3 so wingdings and putting a space and three enter. So I've been able to get an indicator which shows whether it's good for the business average or whether it's bad for the business. But now I also want to apply a color color which indicates the direction. So I choose the entire block where the arrows are present. I then go to home tab conditional formatting new rule and in here in here I go to the second option which says format only cells that contain. In this, I'll have to apply conditional formatting three times, wherein the first time I will have to say, if the cell value is equal to letter P, please note that you must write this in lowercase. So if it is equal to P, let me go to format, let me go to font color. Notice it's not fill color that I'm targeting, it's the font color that I'm targeting. Font and within which I'm choosing the bright green. Okay. Now, it would have been better had I put in bold, Let's see how it looks. Okay. Although for certain symbol, it doesn't make any difference, but let me press. Okay. So now you see all the up arrows are indicated by the color green. Similarly, I go to conditional formatting once again, go to new rule, the same second option, but this time I say cell value is equal to equal to what TU. Now ideally you should be putting double quotation before and after TU but it already puts that automatically. The condition formatting already puts that automatically. So cell value equal to TU and I go to format, I go to font color and make it orange. Okay. Okay. 
Finally, I go to the conditional formatting third time, new rule, second option. Cell value is equal to letter Q and format has to be the font color red. Font color red. Okay. Okay. So let me test 120, which is uh, neutral, 90, bad for the business and let's assume 200. Good. So this is how you can prepare a very good MIS report where you got to show your bosses, your colleagues, the actual versus budgeted production using this indicator, which automatically changes with change in values. So practice this, apply this, very, very important. Thank you.